Hey guys, welcome. I'm oh, I'm Christine Steins. Um, thanks for joining me on here. Drop a one if you're watching this right live. Drop a two if you're watching the replay. I hope this recording is going to be okay. My internet has been dodgy because it's raining here, hence the crazy hair. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> moving on to the topic. Have you ever wondered what is better for you? What's healthier, frozen or fresh produce, fruits and vegetables? So if you've ever wondered that, stick around because I'm gonna answer that for you right now in this video, okay? So, fresh fruits and vegetables are some of the healthiest foods that you can eat. They're full of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, all things that can improve your health. Um, but they're not always available, right? So frozen varieties can be a convenient alternative. However, their nutritional value may differ. Um, there's this common belief that buying fresh is kind of best and frozen is like a little bit of a cop out. Um, but certainly on the nutritional front, frozen vegetables are not necessarily inferior. So whether fresh is better than frozen really depends on just how fresh those veggies and fruits actually are. So if you're picking produce from your own vegetable garden, like in your backyard, that's obviously gonna be the optimal solution. You could pick it when it's ripe, there's no transportation time, um, you eat it when the nutrients are high, that's gonna be ideal. Um, we know that the longer it takes to get fresh produce to us from a farm, the more nutrients in the food slowly decreases. On the other hand, nutrients in frozen produce are sealed into the vegetable during the freezing process. And if they last for weeks or more in your freezer, they also save on food waste. So a little about the harvesting process of it all and, and transportation. So most of the fruits and vegetables that we buy, um, they're harvested by hand and then it's after that that varies between fresh and frozen produce. So for fresh fruits and vegetables, they are picked actually before they're ripe. Um, this allows kind of time to continue ripening during their transportation process, you know, or by the time they got to us, they'd be spoiled. But it also means that they don't have as much time to develop a full range of vitamins and minerals and um, antioxidants. So shortly after harvesting, fresh fruits and vegetables start to lose their moisture and they have a greater risk of spoiling. They have a drop in nutrient value. Um, one study found that this happens as quickly as three days um, of refrigeration. And in the US, fruits and vegetables spend anywhere from three days being the minimum to several weeks in transit before arriving at a distribution center. And some produce such as apples and pears can actually be stored for about 12 months <laughs> often before um, being sold. So during transportation, the produce is stored in like a you know chilled, controlled atmosphere. Sometimes it's treated with chemicals to prevent spoiling. And then once it reaches the superma supermarket, it's spelled in a couple days on display. And then it's stored you know in your home for maybe like a week or so before you eat it. I don't know. But um, frozen fruits and vegetables, on the other hand, are picked at the peak of their ripeness when they're the most nutritious. And then once they're harvested, vegetables are washed, blanched, cut, frozen, and packaged within a few hours. So it would sound like there would actually be more vitamins in frozen vegetables than in the fresh varieties. But certain nutrients are actually um, lost during that blanching process. In fact, that's when the greatest loss of nutrients occurs. And blanching basically happens right before you freeze it. And it just basically means they put all the vegetables in boiling, boiling water for a short period of time, usually just a few minutes. And this kills harmful bacteria. It prevents loss of flavor, color, and texture. But it also results in a, a loss of water-soluble nutrients such as B vitamins, vitamin Cs. Um, and then the extent of it varies. It depends kind of on the, the type of veg vegetable um, and then the length of time that it is blanched. But generally, it can range from 10 to 80% in nutrient loss. Fruits, on the other hand, don't undergo blanching because that would affect like the texture if they were boiled. Um, instead, they're treated with absorbic acid, which is basically vitamin C. Um, and sometimes added sugar is... Um, Sugars added to them to prevent spoiling. Unlike fresh produce though, there is no chemicals added to them um, before freezing. And then even though the nutrient level drops significantly during blanching, afterwards, once they're frozen, the vitamin levels remain stable. They remain constant, so they don't change. So what does all that mean, Chris? What are you trying to tell us, right? <laughs> okay, so Basically, is fresh frozen more nutrition? So results from studies that have compared um, 
the two, the nutrient content, very slightly. And this has become some studies use freshly harvested produce, which removes the effect of storage and transportations. Others use produce from supermarkets, which is probably more like what we, or at least what I use. Um, additionally, there's differencing in processing and, and measuring that can influence the results. But in general, the evidence suggests that the nutritional content in fresh and frozen produce is actually very similar, which I think is awesome news for us. Furthermore, there are some vitamins um, like vitamin A, carotenoids, vitamin E, minerals, and fiber that don't seem to be in fact impacted by um, blanching. Um, and so they're similar in the fresh and frozen uh, varieties. Studies comparing um, uh, supermarket produce with frozen varieties such as like peas, green beans, carrots, spinach, broccoli found antioxidant levels and um, nutrients to be similar with actually frozen to be a little bit higher than the fresh varieties. So the take home message in all of this is that freshly picked fruits and vegetables from your own garden, um, or maybe even like a farmer's market too, is definitely gonna be the highest quality, the highest nutrient content. But if you cannot do that, um, like me, I, I, I don't have a garden. <laughs> I don't have any space to have a garden. Um, if you're shopping at the supermarket, then frozen produce can be an equal to, and in some case, even more nutritious than fresh varieties. At the end of the day, frozen, fruit, frozen fruits and vegetables are a convenient, um, cost-effective alternative to fresh options. And the best thing would be to kind of choose a mix of both. So like if you're a weekly shopper, consider buying some fresh veggies to start the week, eat those at the beginning of the week, and then buy frozen veggies so you can eat those towards the, the end of the week. And if it's ever a choice between eating old vegetables or no vegetables, the old ones are still fine. On that note, I'll also say that if you, for some reason, can't stand frozen vegetables, like eat the fresh. If you don't like fresh, eat the fresh, whatever it is. I always, people are always like, what vegetable is best? How should I, you know, what, which kind should I buy? The ones that you will eat are the best ones that you should buy. Um, what's even more important between buying frozen or buying fresh is actually the way you prepare them, the way you cook them. That's really important. So I want to mention this too, that boiling vegetables in like a large amount of water for a large, uh, for a long time, let the vitamins and minerals leach out into the water. That's why when you take them out, um, the color in your pot or whatever it is, is like if you were cooking green beans, it's green. Um, or if you're cooking carrots, it's orange or something like that because those vitamins and minerals are leaching out. So it's better if you, um, use as little as water as possible and cook them for the shortest amount of time as possible. So steaming or even microwaving veggies is actually um, the best option. And if you are buying frozen, just make sure you check the label of the packet. Sometimes, um, well, usually it's just vegetables, but occasionally, you know, if there's a sauce particularly, that particularly <laughs> they might add a lot of salt or sugar. So you just want to check on that too. So that's it. I hope this was helpful. I feel like this is good news. We can buy either, right? Um, both are good for you. Whatever works out better for you and your family and your lifestyle is what you should get. And um, I actually have this really awesome recipe for um, cauliflower nachos that uses frozen cauliflowers. If you want it, just comment below and like, I don't know, comment cauliflower nachos and I will send it over to you and you can try it. It's really good. Otherwise, um, I hope you have a great rest of your night and I will talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for being on.